Hi friends! Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Mel and this is Mr. Simba. We hope you are having an inspiring day. It is the heat of summer and we are happy about that, aren't we? So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, I'll leave my handle here, it's at Mel Huang. I have recently just got back from a trip to Paris and it is literally the most magical trip I think I've ever been on. If you've been to Paris, you probably feel the same way. And naturally while I was in Paris, I wanted to bring home a little bit of a souvenir. Originally, I did want to get a Chanel purse. I went to multiple Chanel stores, just didn't find anything that felt right. And I don't know about you, but for me, when I buy a purse, it has to feel right, you know? Like, love at first sight or something. And I had been looking for this LV purse here in Canada for a while, and there was a wait list forever. Some stores wouldn't even put you on the wait list. So when I saw it in Paris, I just had to have it. Dun, 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 dun. So I got the LV Pochette Metis bag in cream. Since I couldn't bring home the boxes and all that from Paris, I'm not going to do an unboxing but I have been using it for the past couple weeks. So I'm going to do a little bit of a review of the entire bag and I'm going to break it down into five different categories. The style, the price, the material, and then lastly the color and then the size and the fit of the bag. If you do like the video, of course we would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up. Comment below if you've ever seen this bag, like this bag, don't like this bag, I'd love to know. And of course, if you are new to the Inspire family, we would love it if you would subscribe. We try to make videos every week. Let's get started! So the bag itself is really cute. It's a little bit of a handbag, but it also has a cross body strap to it. The front of it is kind of a boxy rectangular shape. The clasp here is a push to open and inside you've got a lot of different compartments. You've got the back side here which is a little bit thinner than the other two compartments. You've got the middle compartment which is obviously the largest here and then you've got the front compartment so it's actually broken up pretty well. Inside you've got the LV mark on a piece of leather on the inside. It's canvas lined and it's got this beautiful striped print on it. So no zipper in the interior but you've got the zipper in the back here that is also lined and fits quite a bit. And in terms of carrying, you can carry it from the top here with the handle or they also come with the strap here for a crossbody. In terms of other markings, you also have the LV stamped on the front and the back of the back zipper as well as on the little notches of even the leather tag. And that is a quick overview of the Metis bag as a whole. Let's get into the review. So let's start with style. This bag here is the perfect everyday bag. I feel like that transitions really well from day to night. The reason for that is it's kind of got that very professional ladylike vibe with the top handle here. But because of the crossbody strap, it's such a great everyday bag as well that you can kind of just throw on and go. For me, I was really looking for a new designer bag that would hold a lot more than my wallets on chains or my little Chanel purses. And because this is so large and the compartments can fit quite a bit, it actually acts as a really, really great transitional bag from day to night. Okay, let's move on to price now. In Canada, at least, this bag retails for $2,810. When I bought it in Paris, it was 1,650 euros, which when you convert it to Canadian dollars is 25.34. So you're actually saving a good couple hundred dollars by buying it in Paris. So I bought this bag at the Paris Champs-Élysées store, which is kind of like LV's headquarters slash flagship store. It is big and gold and beautiful and it's just such a magical place. I got there around 5 to 6 p.m., so a couple hours before they closed, and there was still a lineup to get into the store. Apparently they open at 10 o'clock and it is already a lineup starting from 9 sometimes, so if you're thinking of going to the Paris Champs-Élysées store, you might want to go a little bit earlier if you're looking for a particular style. Another thing to note is that apparently the store gets shipments every single morning, so if you don't find something the day before, it is possible that it might 
come in to stock the day after. Another good thing to note is that if you're buying this purse in Paris and you're from outside of Europe, you actually get your tax back. So you want to make sure that you bring your passport with you to the store when you purchase and what will happen is they'll make note of it, you'll go to the airport and you'll submit your forms for your tax back which you can get either in cash right away which is a little bit less of a percentage I believe or straight back onto your credit card which is 12% which is what I did. So because I did that this ended up actually only costing 14.52 euros. Alright, next for material and the leather. So this leather is made from a pebbled leather which is always more durable than a calfskin or a lambskin. A thing to note is that when it does get dirty, it gets stuck in the grooves of the monogram so you're going to want to make sure that you clean it pretty often. In terms of the hardware material, you've got the brushed gold brass that honestly you do have to keep um, mind of every once in a while because I do have some of my LV like pochettes and little wallets that over time have kind of faded over the years and on the inside of the bag the material is canvas lined which is really nice I don't really like it when it's leather lined I feel really scared that I'm going to scratch it but the thing to note is that at least for this one the interior of the canvas is a light color so you want to make sure that if you're bringing any pens or anything that's going to mark up your bag you maybe want to put it in something else before you put it into your bag. And next for color. So the Pochette Metis comes in a ton of different colors. You can get it in the regular monogram, which is obviously the most popular, but they didn't have it in stock when I was there. I believe that the leather embossed version also comes in black, red, a dark blue, a darker brown as well, but this one just totally caught my eye. I tried on the red one as well, which was super tempting, but when I tried this on, I knew it was just going to match with everything because it's a neutral color. Now, the only thing is obviously you're spending a lot of money on a purse that is light colored leather. So for me, that is super bad news bears, mostly because I am so clumsy. The first day actually that I got this, I ended up getting color transfer on it. With a bag this color, you also don't want to wear with any blue jeans because that's going to also color transfer onto it. And I know it's a pretty extensive process to get color transfer off. In terms of dirt as well, I've got it a little bit dirty just by wearing it. Some of it you can kind of rub off, some of it you just can't, especially the ones around the side corners of the bag here. Now after buying it, I had a little bit of a 24 hour remorse just because of the color. I really wanted a light bag, I didn't have any light bag in my collection, but again, it was going to get dirty. Now that I've owned it for a couple weeks, I've kind of come to terms with the fact that it's going to get dirty and that I'm just going to embrace it as a part of the character of the bag. And last but not least, the size and fit. Now we've kind of touched upon this, but this bag is a really decent size. The inside of it can definitely fit any phone, but also, you know, little iPads or Kindles. I also can fit a book, like a little novel on the inside pocket of this while still keeping all of my purse items in there, like my lipstick and my wallet and all of that. I really like that it's got that thin compartment on the back side here and that it's really easily accessible. And the pocket in the back also has a good enough amount of room as well. I think if you have a small Kindle, you could probably also fit that in the back pocket here. I keep my phone in here for super easy access. So in terms of the dimensions, you have 25 centimeters long, you've got 19 centimeters high, and you've got 7 centimeters wide in and around. Although I think that when I stuff this, is definitely more than 7 centimeters. And in terms of the fit, this is obviously not a shoulder bag. It is either a hand bag or a crossbody bag and as a crossbody bag I love how it fits it has a couple of different notches here it has seven so you can adjust it based on your height and preference but for me I like to sit my bag around my hip as you can see here it is just the most comfortable crossbody bag I like my hand to kind of rest on top of it here and it sits right at hip distance but of course if you have different body proportions you can always adjust the strap to make it fit how you like. 
So overall, I think that this is probably going to be one of my favorite bag purchases. I've definitely used this a lot more than my Chanel's and my YSL's for the most part now. What I really like about it is if I use this during the day for work and stuff like that or running errands, I can actually wear it into the evening. But overall, I would rate this bag probably an 8 out of 10. The color is the only little stickler, but again, I did do that onto myself and chose the beige bag. So if it wasn't for that, it would definitely be a 10 out of 10. And that is it for my LV Pochette Mette review. I really hope that you like the bag review. I haven't done one in a little while, just because I haven't really purchased a new bag in a long time. But if you do like this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. And make sure to comment below. Let me know what you think of my new purchase. If you like it, if you agree with it, if you don't like it, let me know. And if you are new to the Inspired family, of course, we would love it if you would subscribe. But with that, I hope you have an inspiring day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.